right. Uh, further news on the Kyle Larson disqualification. NASCAR said the team made an unapproved adjustment to the roof rails as they pushed the car to the grid. Regan? Well, Mike, just to show everybody what we're talking about when we say the roof rails, we've got the roof rails that run down the front or down the roof of the car to the shark fin section of the race car. Not exactly sure yet which area NASCAR felt like they pushed on improperly, but you can see this is a big part of the aerodynamics of a race car down through a very sensitive area that NASCAR doesn't want the teams touching after they've gone through tech. So once we know a little bit more from the team on exactly what was pushed on or what was the issue, then we'll get back to you. All right, thanks, Regan, and thanks to Bob Pachris for uh, passing along the details of what happened. Yeah, and maybe somebody just leaned on it wrong or something. Right, right. Kyle, yeah. At Atlanta, you know, the, the Stuart Haas cars, they had taller roof rails, which would give the car a little bit more. I had the wrong tape measure yeah. when they were making them. I don't know. A little bit more side force or something with, uh, without hurting the drag a whole lot. So you try to find those things and get away with as much as you can. But I thought it's you part of the game. Quarter, not three NASCAR, NASCAR frowns yeah. upon those safety devices when the roof rails are on there for a reason when the car gets sideways. And if you start messing with those types of things, it's a pretty quick Yeah, but trip. they're real thin, easy to move, Kevin. Yeah. So the result is Kyle Larson will not be allowed to qualify. Here's Ryan.